Hey Pisces, welcome. How about a December tarot reading for the sign of Pisces? Mid to late December this time. Your early December's out. Let's see, what's a matter of importance for Pisces? Mid to late December, please. Powerful personal growth. That's interesting because I was seeing the strength card while I was shuffling. I wonder if that's going to come out. We'll see. Ooh. Okay. Pisces, there's... Okay. It's like you have an opportunity to experience growth in the next level of a situation or even within yourself. But... We have some sort of situation coming in or that's around you. Yeah, pray. That represents like a shadow side or a dangerous side of your nature even. So I feel like someone is coming in and reflecting something very shadowy. So there's there's a person representing a dangerous situation that's coming in. And this has the possibility for you to either grow and achieve the next level or it's somehow hindered. Okay? I'm definitely picking this up. I hope that made sense. We have Nautilus Princess here. And this is about powerful personal growth. Okay, we also have carnivorous flower fairy. And it says a tempting offer has a high price. Yeah, it looks like it bites. Okay, there's an offer that bites back. Okay. The thing is, we're getting a lot of like ominous energy with this. So I feel like the one innocent card is this Nautilus princess energy. And it's telling me that you're not really affected by this at this point in time. However, it may represent something that you are considering at this point, okay? And I somehow feel like it's a shaky situation or a slippery slope. We're gonna see. We have Nightmare. Psychic protection, shield, and bad dreams. I feel like you almost want to protect your energy in a way even. And this could be what you're considering. It's almost like, oh man, I know if I get involved with this, I'm gonna, there's some sort of detriment or like a fall from grace. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you're trying to protect yourself from a situation, from a person here. We have prey and I can see why. Look at this. This is very, um, someone is very like penetrative or very manipulative or they like to kind of, it's almost like a domineering energy coming around, okay? Someone's very persistent. We have prey. It says stalked, invaded, and watched. I feel like you're trying to protect your um, privacy even for some of you. So let's say, um, I'm getting a side note here. So let's say that you have some stuff online. Maybe you're blocking people or you're doing something about privacy settings and privacy protections for your accounts here so people don't see certain things. I feel like this is coming to that point or it's gonna come to a head here, okay? Let's see, because there's something that you're not wanting. Let's see what's going on here exactly. What's this? I almost feel like it's like hidden danger or hidden um, temptations, you know something. Let's see. Pisces, mid to late December, please. Look at you. <laughs> I got the whole world. <laughs> this magician energy. So what is crossing you is the eight of pentacles. 
So you're trying to be very disciplined. Now I can see. Hmm. There's something about discipline that you're trying to keep. You're trying to keep your head on straight. You're trying to keep to the task. Nothing but the task here. Kind of not wanting this distraction to come in. Whatever this is. Some of you guys, maybe you drink too much coffee. I don't know. Or whatever it is that you're trying not to... Um, impede the flow of your, your, I guess your work, your workflow or whatever it is that you're focused on from the heavens. Okay. You got the, the queen of swords. This is interesting. So what I'm getting from this is like, you know, better, or this is something you've already experienced before. Something that you decided to turn your back on is somehow here. All right, hold on. Or you are turning your back on. From the abyss, we have the nine of cups. Wow. See, this is where that temptation energy comes in. It's like it's all fun and games at first, right? So for example, that first cookie, <laughs> or let's say potato chips, because I know those are easy to kind of eat a few in a row, right? That first potato chip, I'm just going to have one potato chip. You know, it's never just one, something like that. So the recent past, we're looking at a release. This is the back of the four pentacles. Near future, ah, so you are. You are, mo you're moderating yourself. This is a moderation, okay? You and or your advice is the page of wands. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see. I feel like something is sparking you. It's like you want it, you don't want it, you want it, you don't want it, or you know, like I said, it's a slippery slope. Okay, three of wands coming in from the outside influences. Your hopes, fears, and feels is not to have a care in the world. We got the fool card. I feel like this is what you want the most, all right? Some sort of freedom. So your most likely outcome, we got the back of the knight of, or I almost said knight of wands, but that's the pentacles, obviously. Let's see, what's on the bottom of the deck? Hmm. There is an energy that you're not necessarily very involved with that's showing up here. It could be, it could highlight some form of a trigger for you. It's definitely something that was left behind here. We have the five of swords. It's like, that's not beneficial. I'm leaving that alone. Or every time I get involved here, it never ends up well with the five of swords. That's kind of like a lose-lose, you know? Um, this is also some type of energy that was kind of like hard to dismiss or hard to get out of for some of you. Okay. Maybe it's for some, I'm going to throw this out here. If it's like a personal energy for you, it's like abstaining or celibacy or sobriety or something like this, you know? Okay. That's not everybody. I'm just saying. So look at you starting something up here. You got that magician energy. Let's see what you're talking about. What are you doing? Pisces. What you got going on? The Two of Swords. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Ooh. Three of Pentacles and the Fool. Okay. Um, I wonder what this Three of Wands is. Let me see. There's definitely an energy, like almost you view as it being intrusive. That's for sure. And that's why we're getting this stalked, invaded, watched energy. It's like someone could be asking you to engage in a situation, right? It's like, hey, do this with me or let's do this together. And it's like you have no um, desire to want to be involved. It feels like you're very familiar with this. So I feel you kind of know what to expect here. It's almost like you just want to disengage completely. The fact that we have the full card, it's right here. You're trying to be able to, yeah, you're, you want to have your discipline. You're trying to be good. You're trying to be a good girl, be a good boy or whatever this is and stay in a certain train of thought. Hold on now. What is this that's being offered? 
Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a partnership here. <laughs> I've got the two of cups on the bottom. No wonder. Mm. Some of you, this is a partnership and someone's trying to come in and, and have a new agreement with you. And you're like, I just, I just, I'm not interested. I want to disengage, you know. Let's see about this eight of pentacles as your challenge. Now, some of you, it could be that you're too busy even, or you want to, you know, keep a focus on whatever it is that you're working on here. You got the page of swords in the bottom of the deck. Four of pentacles, knight of pentacles. Ace of Cups, wow. So your challenge is to keep working on something that you've been working on. It's almost like you could have just started this or you restarted this um, just recently and you wanna keep a hold on it. It's something that requires your attention. You almost feel like your undivided attention and you kinda of wanna I guess, dig your heels in and stay where you are. This is a challenge for you. I feel like there's a distraction coming in or someone that represents a distraction, maybe an energy that's a distraction. I feel like you're trying to keep your eye on the prize as your challenge, okay? So there's something you're working on. It's very meaningful to you. And this is what you want more than other things coming in at this time. Let's see about this nine of cups you're like i'm working on things i'm improving my life i'm you know this kind of stuff three of swords in the bottom okay so once the three of cups wow interesting so maybe this is some kind of party or a gathering um I'm seeing almost like a celebration with the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups, but there's definitely some sort of invitation to link up here. But I feel like, I feel like, it's like you you would love to be involved. You would love to, you know, it's something that represents happiness here. We have jovial energy, just a good time with you and somebody or you and people in general. But I feel like um, at the same time, Maybe you're upset you can't show up or someone's upset that you can't show up. It's almost like I can't make it. I, I don't have enough time or I have other things to do here. There's something like that going on. Hmm. Okay. Because we do have the three of swords. Because I feel like you are definitely achieving this empress status. And this is a main priority which is to have abundance. I feel an energy almost like play later, you know? I have, um, I have things to do, I could play later, something like that. Let me see about this Four of Pentacles in the recent past. Two of Cups. This could be that same relationship, that same partnership, whatever this is representing for you. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just getting an energy of kind of like a disengage in the recent past. Maybe you felt like you were imbalanced by a relationship or a partnership that came in here or it somehow depleted you either energetically or um, maybe even financially for some with the four and the five of pentacles here. It's definitely like some sort of conflicts about engaging and not. And I also feel like it just resulted in a disengage. So you just disengaged here because you were being depleted in some sense, or maybe you felt like your time wasn't allocated properly. Something about your resources were a little off kilter because of this situation that came in, this relationship, this partnership, or whatever this is that we're talking about with the Two of Cups, okay? 
let me ask about this five of wands quickly. Two of swords. Yeah, there's something here that was hindering your path. It's almost like, okay, that's not for me or I have a goal in mind. I have a path in mind. There's, there's somewhere I need to be. There's somewhere I'm going in life. I need to go there. You know what I mean? That was a, that was what was going on there. And you started feeling that inner conflict about it. It's like, I got to do something else. There's something else for me than this, basically. Okay, let's see. Maybe even it was a general sense of confusion. Like, um, I'm in a fog. I need to find my direction. Let's see this Queen of Swords from the heavens. I'm getting like been there, done that, or I know better or something of that. Yeah, six of cups, exactly. You've experienced this already. You're very familiar with this, with this um, either relationship or situation popping up. It's something that you, you kind of know better than to involve yourself in, which I'm not necessarily sure why, other than the fact that I do know that you were off balance here and you're trying to protect your, your balance. Wow, maybe this is your bank balance or I heard assets, which is why I'm saying that. Okay, we have emperor. What is this? Yeah, balance, justice. <laughs> Telling you. <laughs> we got justice, the balance of scales. You got to balance your time, your um, priorities. That's what this is. So, oh my gosh, exactly. This is exactly what's happening here. So it's about you having self-control, self-discipline, and this is part of your challenge. And I feel like you're thinking about this. It's almost like you're thinking about the past, how it didn't work out in certain ways and how you can change that moving forward. It's like, all right, I got this. I know I can do this. I can keep with it. And this is the right thing for me to do. It's like you're on the right path or you're trying to go straight here, you're trying to keep a steady line, um, keep your goals in mind, okay? Remember the balance. Remember to keep yourself balanced also. Um, too much of anything may not be healthy here is what I'm seeing. But this is definitely on your mind. It's like, I got to stick with this. This is this is what I need to do. This is the right thing to do. This is how I see you right now. Okay, definitely. Okay, let's see. So we got this temperance energy. There's definitely that moderation that is very important. Okay, that's why you temper energies. Too much of anything is too much, right? Ooh, look at this. Someone's coming in here. And the Nine of Pentacles. So it's interesting. I feel like you're going to get some sort of payoff here in the near future. It's almost like you are very happy or someone is giving you something that makes you very happy. You feel a lot more stable here from what I'm seeing. It's like you're proud of your you're proud of what you're doing right now in the near future. It's um it's like you have more time too. So something is wrapping up here. You're wrapping something up, Pisces. And in the near future, you're gonna be proud of you actually doing what you needed to do. Let me see. Hermit. Yep, you are kind of trying to stop certain things in your life. Unhealthy patterns, habits, um, toxic patterns even if it has to do with relationships. So like, it's like a deep healing here. I feel like you're doing some sort of cleanse. You're cleansing your life. You're cleansing areas of your life, relationships. Again, it could be an energy of sobriety or health, okay? Maybe you're doing this for your health, mental, emotional health, physical health. There's something here going on. Ooh, chariot and the two of cups. Interestingly enough, um, you now have time for this, okay? It feels almost like you had to delay like a meeting or you had to delay partnering with somebody here and they're still kind of waiting for you. They're waiting for you to come toward them or um, they're just there. They're there to support you or they kind of know what you have going on. But I feel like maybe at first they were kind of demanding or someone was demanding to you. It could be like a boss or maybe the demands you placed on yourself even. However, there's someone here and they're kind of like, okay, I'll be patient, I'll wait for you, or they are just waiting for you. It's it's someone who, who thinks it's worth it. You also think it's worth it, that you've 
handled everything that you needed to. And now you somehow get, um, maybe this is like a promotion or there's some sort of success coming in and you're able to move forward now or you have more free time. Um, so now you can go travel. Now you can visit somebody. Now you have time for a partnership here, a friendship, a relationship, whatever this is. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good job, Pisces. Okay, so who is this? We got, I saw Virgo. We also saw, um, right here, I'm seeing Venus Cancer or just Cancer period. Also Leo energies, also Sagittarius energies. Okay. Doesn't have to, of course, you know. You know that. Let's see about your Page of Wands. In you and or your advice. Interestingly enough, I do still feel like this is kind of being moderated, like almost like you're moderating or tempering your time or your energy toward this, but it's like meaningful in a way. Lovers. <laughs> Who's got lovers? Pisces has lovers. Okay, there's your Knight of Wands. Ooh. Yeah, um, so this is you. You got lovers. So somehow lovers. There's someone here. Okay, yeah, it's like delaying gratification. This is what I'm getting. Maybe it's a, maybe there's a Sagittarius, but I do feel like if it's not a Sagittarius, okay, we have Gemini too and Leo. There's some kind of passionate energy that's wanting to come in. And I feel like somehow it's you wanting to make sure, um, that you don't let your passions or, I don't know, I heard exhibitionism get in the way. So it feels almost like uh, this Two of Swords is you kind of blocking out, rushing or moving towards something very fast or get th letting things getting too out of hand here. That's just pretty much what this is, okay? There may be a decision in love that results from this or this is what we're talking about, okay? Decision to link up, meet up. Um, see lots of happiness. <laughs> Let me say about this three of wands and the outside influences. Yeah, this could be someone who's kind of looking forward to seeing you, meeting with you, talking with you, something like that. The three of wands is somebody who's kind of waiting or waiting for something to come in. You know, let's see what this is. The king of wands. Maybe it's a fire sign like we've been talking about. The ten of swords, the judgment, and the queen of cups. Wow. So it feels like this person feels that you kind of like deaded things or you ended things with them at one point, but that somehow it quickly revives and then they're happy about that. It's like they're, they're okay with that. There's some sort of understanding that they have here. They have an understanding, like let's say you had to end something for a while or you had to walk away or you had to put something on hold here. It's like uh, they felt like they failed or their approach was wrong here. But then after some communications, it's almost like they have like an understanding or they understand you here. This person understands you, I don't know. You told them no or you told them not right now, something like that. You said no, you got you got a ten of swords. It's like um, that's how they were feeling. But again, when you have the judgment energy, this is like a revival, so let me see. Maybe it's someone hoping you would like rekindle something with them too. Let me see about this fool card in your hopes, fears, and feels. King of Pentacles. Death card. Ooh, Ten of Cups. And the Six of Swords. King of Pentacles, who are you? Ooh, we have a King and Queen of Pentacles as well as a King of Swords. This feels almost like someone is leaving a long-standing relationship or you're leaving something established or you feel this way. Let me see. Okay. So you feel like you are searching for some sort of happiness and it's like you're willing to go through drastic changes and transformations to have this in your life, okay? 
it feels like you are in search of this. So let's see. So maybe this is you picking up and leaving or there's some sort of travel energy. Um, but it feels like, let me see about this death card really quick. It feels like you're ready for new beginnings or you're ready to welcome new energies, but it could be some sort of process or you could be being patient with it kind of stuff. The Queen of Swords. Okay, mm -hmm. look at this. The full card is representing that Two of Cups again. <laughs> Some of you, this is someone who's just trying to connect with you here. And now you're deciding if you're gonna take a leap or not. You could be questioning, is this really a new beginning for me? Am I, um, am I gonna have a certain amount of freedom here? Somehow this is coming into play. It could be with a Scorpio or this situation. Um, someone could be experiencing a drastic change, period. All right, so someone's trying to connect with you still this entire reading. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Most likely outcome here. Devil card. Ooh, now, of course. All right, so you're in that Queen of Swords energy. This situation represents some sort of desire here. Maybe you feel like it has a tendency to be a distraction or cause some sort of turbulence in your life. There's something about this that you're not even wanting to take a chance if you suspect that you could go off on a path that you don't wanna be down. Do you know what I'm saying? Nevertheless, you still do have this connection here. It's just that you're not doing too much or you're not rushing or, again, you have other priorities. It's like you want to stick with the program or stick with what you know right now. And I feel like... This could be a... What do we got here? We got Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, maybe Libra, Capricorn. It's like there's a decision that is put on hold here from what I'm seeing in the outcome. Or it's just like slow, slow coming, especially with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? I am seeing that. Let's see if anything else. This person is, no wonder they're watching because they're like waiting for like an opening with you, <laughs> but you feel like it's not right or something like that. Oh goodness. Tower. Yeah. Mm hmm. Interestingly enough, something's coming in and causing a stir here, okay? So some of you guys, this is someone who is going through a an ending, like I said, or you are, and there's some sort of waiting for this to process or go all the way through before people go and do other things in their lives, right? So it could be any type of ending. Maybe it's a marriage, a relationship, a, a job or whatever, you know, big major life change is happening here in someone's life, either yours or this person's. And this could be inhibiting this, so it may not be the right time. There's other stuff going on. People are not settled quite yet. This That's what this is kind of telling me throughout this read. So we do have um, Wheel, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Swords. It does feel like someone is Maybe there's some sort of shocking or surprising ending here or something is made known, but this is going to um, shift. I feel like someone wants a change here. I feel like someone wants a commitment here, guys. You may find this out, all right? Maybe somebody's gonna tell you this if they haven't already. <laughs> Love you so very much, Pisces. Uh, feel free to check your other placements, maybe on the December playlist, okay? Frequent updates, guys. Your friends' placements, your families, your neeps, your coworkers' placements. Um, peeping Tom, peeping Tony down the street, check their placements too, so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you, bye.